with a special interview with Mackenzie and Company, the research firm believes that Myanmar has potential growth prospects and will likely become a big economy in ASEAN. Do you think that the political and economic reforms that currently are taking place are quick enough for the country? Um, those are important reforms. Uh, it's difficult to judge at what pace the country should move. It's uh, up to the leaders to decide. But we believe that Myanmar has a great advantage, mm -hmm. which is starting from a greenfield situation. It means that the country could, for example, explore a digital leapfrog um, option, leveraging the uh, broadband internet to, for example, putting in place a remote education system using tablets to educate millions of people with fewer teachers. That could also enable Myanmar to leverage uh, external, uh, international knowledge and put that at the disposal of its uh, adults that they, the country has to educate and also the children that uh, the school system has to, to grow. So the digital leapfrog could be one big uh, lever for Myanmar to uh, move forward. Okay. To solve all the problems, it requires a huge amount of money. What would be your suggestions uh, for Myanmar in terms of financing for development? Uh, Myanmar, according to us, will need to invest roughly $650 billion over the next 20 years. Um, the country will have, of course, its internal domestic savings. Um, when we look at comparable countries like Thailand, for example, or Indonesia that went through the same transition period, meaning coming from the same economic uh, starting point and quadrupling their economy, they had to invest roughly the same amount. Um, it's a bit more in the case of Myanmar because it, the country has to catch up. But this is not an uh, unusual amount that we are talking about. Out of that 600 plus billion dollars, 170 roughly would come from foreign capital. And this is where we believe it is very important that Myanmar uh, sustains its credibility vis-a-vis -vis foreign investors. Foreign companies, foreign uh, um, institutions have to believe in the growth uh, story of Myanmar and more importantly in, in its ability to capture that growth potential. News headlines they usually state that Myanmar could become Asia's next tiger. What's your thought on this? We think that um, if the situation is managed well, mm -hmm. as I said, all those prerequisites for investors to come into Myanmar are well addressed by the leaders. Uh, Myanmar has quite significant growth prospects. It could become a significant economy in ASEAN. How do you see Myanmar by the year of 2030? It would be a country where uh, the middle class will be much bigger. Today, we estimate that there's only 2.5 million people who are able to spend money beyond food. By 2030, there will be 19 million. The consumer spend will grow from uh, 300, uh, sorry, 30 billion to 100 billion. Uh, dollars, 30 billion to 100 billion. So this is quite substantial growth. So there will be more consumers, more middle class, people earning more money. Probably the rural area will be more developed thanks to higher productivity of the agricultural sector. Many more people well educated, traveling around. And Myanmar, hopefully, will become a nice and interesting touristic destination. Myanmar Focus Daily every day in Good Morning ASEAN and ASEAN Business Report. Like us on Facebook, Myanmar Focus Daily.